1998, so a while back, I was you know, quite young, I was 25 years old, and um, we were part of a, an expedition or a trip taking the what was then the new Discovery 2, so it just shows you how long ago it was, from um, London to Calcutta. Uh, so the route we had was basically across Eastern Europe, into Turkey, across Iran, and then into Pakistan and uh, into India along the uh, Pakistan border. And effectively, we were running along the um, Afghan border in northern Pakistan. Um, and actually, I don't think we realized quite how dangerous that was. I mean, it would be impossible now, as you probably can imagine. But back in 1998, it was possible. Um, but anyway, we were, we were driving. It was getting a bit late. We got to a checkpoint with the military there. And bear in mind, we were you know, a mix of nationalities, I think mostly British, but there was a couple of Americans with us and some of the Europeans. And uh, the guy at the checkpoint's like, what are you guys doing? We had two two brand new discoveries with British plates. So what are you doing? So we're just going to go to this, this town, we've got a booking there. And the guy's like, you, you can't drive through there without an escort. And um, I'm like, oh, okay, we didn't realize. But uh, anyway, he said, well, look, you know, we're, we're happy to escort you. Um, so we had uh, um, a load of guys in a, in a pickup following us, all armed. And in each of the vehicles, we had a, a, a military guy with a, with a, I mean, basically it was a, an old rifle. It wasn't particularly a, a heavy, a heavy machine gun or anything. So we were driving along, and of course we're thinking this is a little bit over the top, a bit dramatic. And as we're driving, and they're just you know carrying on. Anyway, in the distance, we see a, a car just parked up in the middle of the road. There's no one around it, and you're suddenly thinking, is this an ambush? And I'm the, and we, we, all of us were visibly sort of got tense in the car, and you're in that situation thinking, so if they do come with us guns, what are we going to do? We're going to, am I going to go and run away? If I run out, what am I going to do? And where am I going to end up? So, um, so that was the most nervous moment. Obviously, nothing happened. The car was just broken down. <laughs> but, but obviously, we didn't know that at the time. But, uh, but the fact the guy, you know, sat in the front with the uh, the rifle, took his safety off, and you know, it was a bit like, oh, okay, this could be quite serious. But, yeah, that was probably the most uh, most nervous. Sort of. um, uh, mechanical breakdown. <laughs> no, we. Uh, I mean, on on most um, trips, you, you have you know people that know about cars. I'm, I'm not unfortunately particularly mechanically minded. I know a little bit, but not much. But no, in terms of in terms of uh, mechanically, you know, there's a, a generally a mechanic that travels with the trip, and they just keep everything. I mean, the key thing is just making preventative maintenance, making sure the cars are in good shape, and then generally speaking, it's it's all good.